Hi everyone. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, because it's actually Thanksgiving Day, but I couldn't wait to film this for you guys. Yesterday, uh, Orchid and Americano arrived. I actually bought this one with my own funds, and this is part of the new coffee collection by Aesthetica Designs, which there's four new colors. I know everyone has been dying to see these new colors. They look incredible, and immediately I was like, I like all four, and immediately I knew I wanted two for sure, and I had an opportunity to review another one coming to me from Wig Studio One, and I actually purchased this one myself at Wig Studio One uh, so I could see this color because uh, it is incredible. This is Americano, which is the darkest um, color. I guess you could say the darkest root. Let's say that. The darkest root that Aesthetica has or base in this collection. And so it was right up my alley. So I'm really excited to talk to you guys about the new Americano color by Aesthetica Designs in the coffee collection. So I've reviewed a few orchids on my channel already. So we're when I do the measurements, I'm actually just gonna show that to you in the spin. I do show this to you outside and we will do some styling and I will show you inside the cap, but I'm not gonna go over the measurements. I'll just have it in a box to the side. We're gonna mainly focus on this Americano color because that's pretty much probably why you're here. <laughs> uh, this Americano color, uh, is gorgeous. To me, it has some cool and some warmth in it as well. So to me, it's a combo. Let me go ahead and tell you the color description because there is a code that they have, which typically you don't always get a numeric code. Sometimes from Aesthetica, some of these colors when they have like a name, but um, I did find where they had given some numeric codes to Wig Studio One. So this Americano is considered a 10, a 26, a 101, and an RT4. So not their typical root of an eight, which I have not crisscrossed this and I have not brushed this. This is right out of the box. I did a segment of like a one hour, a oh, one hour, a one minute segment. Um, I filmed a video in my closet last night real quick when it arrived and I posted it on my Instagram and I also posted it in the Wig Studio One support group. And, um, but that literally right out of the box. I have not combed it yet. I have not messed with it yet. Um, I have not crisscrossed it yet. So we'll do that while we're here on this video. So this color description is considered a dark brown base. I'm gonna read this. Dark brown base, obviously the four, a medium golden brown, which is the 10. Okay, and then a pale blonde, the 26 with platinum blonde painted highlights. Now, these new colors come on only three styles. Uh, Aesthetica said that they had tried them on some straight styles and they just could not perfect them. And they looked better on the wavy curlier styles. So this comes on the Avalon, it comes on the Fin, and it comes on the Orchid. So I love Avalon. I actually have Avalon coming in the Vanilla Macchiato. I think it arrived Saturday, so in a couple days. And I can't wait to show that to you. I love Avalon. I was really torn if I should get this in Avalon or an Orchid. And I actually decided, you know what? I really wanna see these highlights on a long piece. Sometimes when you get into these long rooted colors, the painted on, I wanted to see the dimension and the length. Um, because with Avalon, it's a shorter, right? So it might start higher, I don't know. So it will be really interesting as you see other reviewers post reviews of seeing how the highlights and the painted start on different lengths of styles. So this is obviously the longest piece in that this color is being offered on. So it might start differently than the Avalon. So if you're interested in this color and you maybe are looking at getting it in a Fin or an Avalon, I suggest that you search for review in the Avalon or the Fin style to see how this color looks on that style because it could be different placement because of the length of the wig. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a spin and then I'll do a spin outside so you can see because it's so gorgeous.
Okay, so let's go ahead and show inside the cap. Typical orchid cap, uh, but just wanna show you a little bit closer look at that hand painted, like we've talked about, the hand paint, painted platinum highlights in this color. I have never seen such great dimensional and technique done on a synthetic piece. I was just staring at this quite a bit before I started filming this segment and just in awe of the different shades and the perfection that got done with a synthetic. Uh, typically, you would only see this type of um, skill set on human hair, uh, especially with pulling in a little bit of warmth down here, uh, but yet getting those nice cool colors uh, with the platinum. So uh, let's go ahead and show inside Orchid's cap. Uh, I've already filmed another orchid on my channel, but left mono top, lace front there, uh, standard kind of aesthetic cap, uh, felt uh, cloth ear tabs, and open extended nape with the bra strap uh, hook adjusters. Good stretch. Okay, so let's go ahead and unpart this. It's a left part. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna actually comb through this. You wanna start at the bottom, work your way up. Might look a little different combed out there. Okay, I probably should have done that before we did the spin. <laughs> um, super cute, left mono part. That looks really good right there. Lace front with these darker knots. Now remember, it's a four root, which a lot of the highlighting root colors with Aesthetica is typically an eight usually, for the most part. There's a few colors that have a four root. But most of the time when you have an RT color, it's an RT8, right? Um, so it is a darker base color. They're not calling it root because it's a base and then it's painted on with that platinum, okay? And I love it with these platinum up high. I actually prefer that. So I'm glad that they're not like starting here. They kind of just have this gentle technique as you get real close in there. And it's not super thick. And then as you get down here, you get more of a painted on. Um, this is a technique that I've wanted for years in my human hair or when I had human hair. Uh, but it's a technique that not all hairstylists can even perfect, if I can be honest. And so um, there's actually select training I've heard from hairstylist friends that they've said, oh, that's a specialized training for the painting on skill. Um, so I think Aesthetica really knocked it out of the park with this color. Seriously, it, it's, it could be, and I said this in my one minute clip on my Instagram, is this possibly could be in one of my top favorite wig colors ever. And I seriously mean that. I really think it's top notch quality. I feel it looks very realistic, something I would typically do if I had this gorgeous human hair, this thick of hair, this is something that I would long to do with my bio hair. Um, very much up my alley uh, for my coloring that I like to do. I know a lot of people have been interested in this color but wasn't sure how dark the base would be, if, um, if it'd be like a grayish, but I see some warmth and some cool in this color. Being that I'm looking at her, I've seen her outside, obviously, we have the outside spotlight, I'm looking underneath her with an L LED light ring. Uh, and so that's, I'm seeing both mixes of that, of a cool and a warmth to this. So I wanted to pull out a wire headband that had made more of a contrast color here against this color. And I wanted to wear a dark t-shirt so you could see the lighter colors against the lighter shirt. But you could wear this wig, this color of wig, with light or dark colors.
Well, what do you guys think of this new color? Let me know what you think. Uh, I literally, from the moment she came out, I could not wait for this color. So as soon as the ordering was released, I think Sunday night, I hurried and got my order in with Wig Studio One. I placed, I, like I said earlier in my video, I ordered this myself from wigstudioone.com. I'll link their uh, website down below because I always shop from them. I review for them. I love them. And they do, are, or they are offering a 30% off discount already off of this uh, wig right now currently. So you'll want to check that out. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure the stock, uh, what's in stock. I don't know. I don't know what's in stock for the colors, for the new colors. Um, I know sometimes aesthetic can uh, run out real quickly. So it wouldn't surprise me if this is gone soon. So just check it out. Uh, maybe call or contact one of the stores and ask uh, what the stocking is on these. Um, but great, great color. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this color or maybe one of the other colors that you're wanting to check out. I actually plan to have all four colors on my channel. So I have uh, one coming to me and then me and a wig sister are actually going to switch. She got, she's ordering two of the other colors and we're going to do a wig switch. So I'm going to send this to her and so she can have a chance to try out this uh, wig and the other wig that I'm receiving. And then she's gonna send me her other two colors. So I'm gonna have all four colors eventually on my channel to show uh, this to you. So let me know what color is your favorite or what you think of the Americano. All right, hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, give a thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to shine bright, love others, and be kind. And happy Thanksgiving, bye.